Hi everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. I'm standing with the very popular and well-known Jean-Claude Biver of Hublot, the chairman of Hublot. Hi. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. So Jean-Claude, today I want to talk about the, your Ferrari relationship and specifically the Ferrari Big Bang collection. How long have you had the, the very famous Ferrari relationship that you're so well known for now? How long has that been going on? Uh, I think it must be nearly one year. One year now. I remember. At the I was most. At the, the, at the most. The it's even, I think it's less. Yeah, it could be one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was, like, how, did you, how did you arrange that relationship? In fact, we didn't arrange it. Ferrari asked us. So Ferrari came to you? Yes. And Ferrari, what... Ferrari came to us because they thought uh, we would be the perfect match, a uh, cultural match. Cultural match. The culture of Ferrari, the culture of Hublot is quite similar. What's similar about them, more, more exactly? What's, exa what's similar? Material. Ferrari is avant-garde for the metallurgy. We are avant-garde in materials. Uh, Ferrari is very, very uh, concentrated on, on uh, lightweight, super light. We are concentrated on super light. Uh, Ferrari is pure design, avant-garde. It's not a classic car. We are pure design. We are not a classic watch. Uh, Ferrari is high performance, high performance. Ferrari is success. They are very successful. We are successful. Um, Ferrari uh, is prestige. We are prestigious. Uh, so there are really similarities. And Ferrari had the belief that if they would do something in watches, again, after having the, uh, done 100 contracts with thousands of different companies for watches, um, they thought time has come to make maybe an agreement with one company and to go in depth and not to make a watch. Right. Because the worst you can do with Ferrari is to make a watch. Stupid. Why should you make a watch with Ferrari? Ferrari are cars. Why should they do watches? They, they are cars. But the contract with uh, Hublot is a contract with Ferrari brand. Mm. We are like... I say something. McDonald did something uh, with uh, Mickey Mouse or with, uh, with Walt Disney. Or they did some cooperative marketing with Coca-Cola. Right. Because they talked to the same customers. Uh, and we had the same feeling. If we do something with Ferrari, we should not focus on the watch. We should focus how Brand. can we associate two brands with two similar cultures together. Ferrari is building engines for the road. We are building engines for the wrist. And how can the engine on the wrist be associated with the engine for the road? And those synergies were important. Those synergies to see how we can work together were important. And at the end of the process, we might also do a watch. All the other watch brands started with making a watch with the Ferrari logo. But that's nothing. That is just the cake. Once the dinner is finished, you eat the cake. How can you eat the cake in the beginning of a dinner? That's not the, 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 the traditional cooking way. In, uh, in our tradition of cooking, the dessert is served at the end. And the dessert of Hublot and Ferrari partnership is the watch. So the watch is the final destination. It's the f finalization of all the rest that is, has come before. And in that sense, we have acted totally different from all the other watch brands that were just happy to take a bloody stupid watch from their collection and put Ferrari stamp on the dial. Right. How can you be so primitive? We said we will never take a watch from the collection. We will take a watch from our DNA, but never a watch that exists in the collection. And we will have special colors, special materials, special features that fit to Ferrari. So today, the relationship ferrari Hublot is probably the deepest we have ever done. It's probably the deepest Ferrari has ever done. And I call it, we have a 360 degrees relationship. And this 360 degrees relationship uh, is really working. 
And we feel it. We have such great collaboration with Ferrari, with the Ferrari world, with Ferrari collectors, with collectors of classic cars, with exhibitions, with promotions, with the automobile salons. We are with Formula One and so on. So the Hublot Ferrari relationship is a 360 degrees. And that is the biggest success of this relationship. It's not anymore just a watch. Now, to make watches with a Ferrari logo, when you retail them $500 or $1,000, makes a lot of sense. Because Ferrari watches should also be available to young people. It should be, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, our prices are $20,000 and plus. So I understand that Ferrari can have uh, other relationship to make other watches in other price categories. But from after $1,000 on, the exclusivity is to, uh, to Hublot. And it's not just an exclusivity. The real relationship that goes in depth, as I said before, is Hublot Ferrari. The designer of Ferrari came to us. We, our designer, went to Ferrari. The metallurgist came uh, from the Ferrari metallurgy department, came to us. Our metallurgist went to Ferrari. So uh, we try really to work deeply together. What are some of your favorite features of the Big Bang Ferrari watch? This one is my favorite. Because it's the magic gold. And it's a gold color that fits a technology watch. Because gold and the technology watch, how can you do that? Because gold is heavy, <laughs> number one, and gold scratches. So it's not the best product for a technology watch. While magic gold is light and magic gold never scratches. Right. And that is, for, those, for that reason, is my favorite uh, Ferrari watch. So some of the new watches we have here, this black ceramic yes. version of the Ferrari watch. We have this one, all carbon fiber. Now, this case that's is made great. That's great. in-house at Hublot. Yes, of course. With a red tinted sapphire crystal. And you also, of course, make the movement. Yes. So this is, this is a very much Hublot DNA. This is this, it's, 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 this it's 100% everything Hublot, that yes. you do well. Plus, plus uh, an, a very interesting uh, uh, patent where you can take... I love that, where you can take the strap you know, off very easily. That's also fantastic. Now, now, right now, in terms of the 2013 sales... How important is the Ferrari watch? Hugely important. It's probably uh, seven, six, eight, between six and eight percent of our turnover. Wow, that's fantastic. Or eventually even ten. It depends uh, what additional novelties we might come out. But it's very important. And the partnership is very important. Uh, it's, we didn't do a 360 degrees uh, partnership just for fun. It's uh, very important and we are very devoted to make it successful. We are very, uh, uh, we give a lot of attention uh, not to miss any opportunity. Right. And we promote Ferrari and pro Ferrari promote us. So it's a real, real win-win situation. So the CEO of Ferrari, which one is he wearing? Uh, he he's wearing several. I don't know which one he wears today. So he just chooses uh, which one he wants. Yeah, I, and uh, probably he might, as I know him, he might be wearing a, a classic fusion uh, in chronograph in in uh, titanium. That's a good piece. You know, uh, uh, if you have a you know the a Hublot watch. You can not only have one. <laughs> <laughs> you make that and very that, clear. And that's our success. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. never buy one. They start with one. They start with one. <laughs> and then they get addicted, and then they buy the second one. It becomes, and that's the magic of the Hublot brand. Yeah, yes, because you have so many flavors. Exactly. Fantastic. Jean-Claude, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs>